It almost feels a little deja vu. No timeout called, time running down. Jamal Murray hits a big shot. Coach Malone said that's the best two-man game in the business. How would you describe it? Uh, I mean, yeah, I would describe it just like Coach Malone described it. You know, late game, we always know we can go to that, and they're going to get a good shot. Nikola Jokic, after the last game, was talking about how you're not afraid of big moments. You're a big shot maker. Where does that confidence come from for you? I mean, I've always been like that. Like, you know, some injuries have, you know, gotten in my way, but I've always been confident. I've always felt like I was, you know, a great player. So um, I've, I've always, you know, trusted myself and trusted my, my work that I put in. Was there a, a spot, a point in this series, Mike, where you realized you were going to have to be you know, 22, 24 a night for you guys to get that? Nah, I was just looking for my shots. And, you know, I was playing so many minutes, I kind of fell into multiple 20 point games. But, uh, there was nothing really different going on. I was just knocking down shots that I've shot my whole career. Mike, how's it feel to not have to get on a plane back to games? Oh, it feels lovely, man. We did not want to go back out there. It could have got spooky. <laughs> Mike, have you ever seen anyone make two game winners in the same series? Um, not that I can think of. I mean, both of those were big-time shots, and, you know, Jamal makes that look routine. So uh, even tonight when he got to that midi, I knew it was going in. Coach said it was emotional for him to even play tonight. Did you guys expect him to play? Yeah, I did. I know Jamal, and, you know, if he felt good enough to contribute at all, um, I knew he was going to get out there. And, you know, sometimes when you don't feel 100% and you're just playing to compete and win, sometimes that's when you have your best game. So I was really proud of him for going out there. You guys talked all series long about how you knew this would be challenging. You knew that they would throw some punches. How does something like that help you when you're about to face the Minnesota Timberwolves? Yeah, I mean, this team presented a lot of challenges. Timber, the Timberwolves will too. Um, so we got a long way to go, but definitely glad we got past the first round. We got to enjoy it because that's a great team with some great players. How did it feel to finally get a good start in the first quarter? Uh, yeah, that was an emphasis. We knew we couldn't get down like we had before. And I think last last game, um, losing, it woke us up. Mike, with your personally going through so much emotionally in the days kind of leading up to the series, how good does it feel for you to have personally the performance you were having individually in all five games? I mean, it feels good, you know, um, but at the end of the day, like, this is basketball. I got way bigger stuff off the court. Um, but to come in here with, you know, my sanctuary and be able to play well, it definitely uh, feels good. Um, but like I said, there's a lot bigger stuff going on in this. How much better can you guys be than what you showed in this series? I think we can be a lot better. I think we can score a lot better. Um, we were a lot, of, a lot of these games, we were pretty good defensively, but we can score. We haven't reached our scoring potential yet.